Welcome to the John Roberts Gaming Channel, here on the holiest week of all weeks for the Judeo-Christian tradition. So I want to wish everybody around the world a happy, healthy, and safe holiday. And I have for you this Easter Sunday, X-Ray Stonewall, Episode 3. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy. Okay. Purchase what we can. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, of course, not. Let's do it. Let's do it. That looks good. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's see it. Of course, Belarusia couldn't just work out, so now he's got an additional 5 units. So we need 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, so this is 10, 19, 20, 23, 24. He's got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 24. So that's all I need. Okay. I think that looks good. Artillery, and we'll put two infantry in Caucasus, and we'll put four in Russia. All right, Germany, you are up. UK round five. I see something interesting here that I I don't have a decisive decision. So let's see. Let's see what happened on Germany's turn. Six infantry, two artilleries, and two tanks was the purchase. They took Algeria. They took Ukraine. Lost an infantry there. And they took Archangel. No units lost there. Moved a couple infantry to France. Five infantry to Poland. Put some more units in Karelia. Looks like he has 22 units there now. He put a fighter in Germany and an infantry in Belarus. All right, mobilized. Two tanks and six infantry to Germany and two artillery to Karelia. So for the United Kingdom, so I know he has these two subs. I guess since they can't hit me this round, I don't need to purchase any more naval. Except perhaps a transport? Or maybe I don't want a transport. Maybe no. How about another fighter? And if we get that transport, we can get two more units. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's the buy. Four infantry, a tank, a transport, and a fighter. So now I think we just take Northwest. Like this. Of 
course we go for Burma. It's unfortunate there's not much I can do with uh, these fighters. I suppose I could bring two of them, couldn't I? Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's do it. successful. Now we put everything in C-Zone 8. We'll have 5 on 5 if he decides to send his Air Force at C-Zone 8. Now what's going on here? Oh, they came from C-Zone 7. That was silly. That was a silly mistake. Hmm. That was a silly mistake. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Mistakes happen. I completely forgot that I was bringing those fighters from C Zone 7 and not C Zone 8. So I miscounted their movement. Mm hmm. Something like that. Bring units up. What does this look like for him? Six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Nope, that doesn't work. Shucks. Land the fighter in Egypt. Hopefully we can take care of this little annoyance here in North Africa. This transport, I'll bring these units to Solomon. Let's bring these guys over. Let's double and triple check. Looks good. Fighter transport. Tank and the two infantry in India. Two infantry up in UK. We'll send it over to Japan. Let's see what they got. So my opponent's forfeit. A little unfortunate. Thought it was a little premature. Let's take a look at the map here. So he went for the C Zone 49, and it looks like he got six hits on me in the first round, and I did a little better. So I lost five submarines. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits. So he would have likely had. A destroyer, six fighters, a cruiser, and the two battleships left, each having taken one hit already. And I would have had four destroyers, two carriers, a cruiser, four fighters, and a battleship remaining. So I would have gone one more round if I was him, but I guess he felt that the dice just didn't go his way. And unfortunately, he decided he would not continue this game. Because I don't think this game was over. I think I had the advantage. But I wouldn't have said that this game was over. I do have a small lead in firepower. Though it is the beginning of the round. 
Soviet Union just went. We are outproducing them, so it would have been an uphill climb for the Axis, but they certainly control a good portion of the board. So, John Roberts has won a few games here and improved his rank a bit. Still got to get that rank up higher. Seven and four right now as the allies. Uh, two and one with the Axis. I have two games with the Axis going on right now. However, neither one of those games are being documented, unfortunately. But I'm sure I will have Axis games in the future, in the near future, that I will get to share with you. Okay, so let's see who our opponent was. Gregor53. Seems to be a silver player. Seems to like playing Axis. Doesn't seem to enjoy allies too much. This is a mid silver. So, Gregor53. Good game. Maybe we'll meet again in the future.